My name is Andrew, and I actually work at USC,、um, and I do stuff on learning how fish swim. So this is kind of similar to what we're learning now, which is about how things fly.、Uh, today we're going to be learning something specific on on what drag is. So drag is something that not only airplanes or birds or things that are flying they feel drag, but every day. When we're just walking around or something, or if you're sitting in a car, your car feels drag as well. My name is Tahani. I, I've been here before. I don't know if you remember me from week one.、Um, I'm a grad student at UCLA. What did you learn about last week? Can someone? Can somebody tell me one thing about flying? What What do you need? You. What you need a wing? Okay, is that what you said? And air. And air. Okay. And what what does? Can somebody tell me if you have some air going over a wing? What does it create? Good, very good. So lift is a, something we call a force. Yeah, and it pushes up, right? Okay. <clears throat> Now we're going to talk about something today, which I said in the first slide was is called drag, right? Drag is is kind of like lift. It's almost like lift. But it pushes us back. So if I want to go this way, it pushes me back this way. So do we want a lot of drag when we're moving? Somebody, somebody, tell me. No, right? It's 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 generally it's pretty bad, right? How many of you have felt drag before? Okay, only three of you have felt drag. Okay. You remember last week we talked about when you put your arm out. When you put your arm outside of a window when you're driving a car, you feel some forces, right? Right. Now, if you press it, if you hold it this way, then you feel some force that goes this way, right? It pushes you that way. And that is exactly what drag is. It pushes you that way, right? Yeah. Everybody understand that? Yes. Okay. So a lot of you walked walked here. Maybe. Did you feel any drag when you were walking here? You did. Was it? Was it strong? Not not too bad, huh? Yeah. Now, how about if you're running? You feel it a little more, right? You feel the wind that pushes you, right? How many of you know how to ride ride a bicycle? Now, have you felt the wind when you ride a bicycle? It's really a lot of it, and it pushes you back, right? And that's exactly what drag is. So as you go faster, so you feel more drag, right? Because if I'm walking, I don't feel that much. But if I'm on a bicycle, I do feel a lot of it, right? And it's always pushing me back. Can you see drag? No, no right? It's just something you feel, right? If if I'm a bird and I'm flying through air, air is something, right? Air is made up of these little bitty things. Well, exactly, called molecules. What you guys are are molecules, okay? You guys are molecules, all right? I'm a bird, and I'm trying to fly through you. Just stay there, okay? I'm flying through you. Okay. So if I'm really small, I can kind of walk through you. But then I start, I start hitting some of you. It's hard for me to go through, right? Uh-oh. It's a little harder. Okay, you guys are making it very hard. But I'm trying to go through. But you guys are pushing me back this way, right? But. But if I stay still, then then nothing's you know everybody's pushing me the same. I don't feel any drag. But if I'm trying to go, there's drag, right? Okay, that's exactly what the air does to you. So now imagine if I'm bigger, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're the same, but it, it makes it harder for me to go through if I'm bigger, right? Very hard, right? It's hard. It's hard for me to go through because I can't like sneak through you、uh, like like that, right? So if I'm bigger, if you're small, you can go through a lot easier, right? So who can tell me why drag is bad? Why don't you want drag? Exactly. And when it drags you down, it makes you go faster or slower? Slower, right? And you want to go as fast as possible. So how, if if we have something that has a lot of drag, how do we make it with less drag? How do we make it so that it has less drag? 
Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So he's, he should be up here teaching our class for us.、Um, but what he said was you have to make it kind of, kind of just a little skinnier so that it goes through the air easier. And this is what's happening right here. It's this thing right here. Okay. I, may, I just folded up this piece of paper because I'm lazy. And if I put that down on there, is it high drag or low drag? How about you? Okay. Will the, will the fan blow it away? Okay. And if it does blow it away, is that good or bad? Bad, right? Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's already hard already. Okay. It blew it away, right? Okay. So, let me try something a little easier. Let me just crumple this up. Okay. Now, you saw that. Does this have more drag or less drag than that? More drag. What'd you say? Less drag. less drag. It's less drag because it's, it's a little bit smaller, right? If you look at this, it's like a little bit smaller, right? Like right there, it's not even really blowing away too much. If I maybe press it a little bit. <laughs> Now, does this one, does this one have a lot of drag or a little bit of drag? Lots. Less drag. Less drag. It's less, right? Look how skinny I am. See,、so、you can't, it doesn't even really go anywhere. Right? And that's good, right? I think we're ready to make something right now and see if you understand exactly what drag is and how to minimize it. So, for today, we're going to build a structure, okay? You can almost think of it like a car, but it's not really a car, it's just a structure. And the whole point, the whole objective, the goal is to make it. Uh, like to have less drag as possible. And then to test whether your construction works or not, we'll come in front of the fan and we'll put whatever you made and we'll see. If it blows back, what does that mean? Does that have high drag or small drag? High drag. We don't want that, right? Because we want it to go really fast. So, your goal is to make a structure so that when you put it here, it does not blow away. Yeah? Carol shape deal. And you tape it to the front of the tube. And then I'll be wrapping the tools so it can be a little heavier. Which is just a kind of plan. Be like, you know, hard like that. Yes. Cutting through the air. Exactly. On, on the four sides, do you think that'll be very aerodynamic? The, so let, let's think about things that are aerodynamic, like an airplane. What, what about an airplane makes it cut through the air? A wing? What about the front of it? What about the nose? This box structure as your car, right? right? And so the car is like a box where we sit, but in the front and in the back, it's more thinner and narrower. So this is where the passenger area, and you're designing the front to make it as streamlined as possible so that it could、yeah. go faster. So we're just not going to sit in front of a fan, but. Yeah, because. So. We're gonna, like, use this as a front. But then that's gonna just go and blow it all back, right? So you wanna like make it so that, like, so skinny and pointy at the front so that it, it doesn't fly back. You wanna have a what pointing? Like, where's that? Oh, I see. Yeah, so what are you doing? That, that's really good. Why are you making it pointy? Oh, for example, that's not a camera. Keep going. <laughs> What were we talking about today? Yeah, the wind. So you want to have less drag, right? Because if it's pointy and then you put it in front of the, the air, it's, it won't go away. Yeah. Where do you want to put the construction paper to make sure it only has a little bit of drag? 
in the bottom. That sounds good. You'll be able to put it like this in front so the wing goes around, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a front. So, like all the... Oh, they have it So when the wind comes, it'll split this whole part. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna work? What happened the first time you tried it? Blue White, what did you change? Is that hard to do? Is that the strongest one? Like, 